What's up everybody on YouTube, AJ Rose back here with another video. And today I'll be sharing with y'all my predictions for the 2022-23 NFL playoffs. So what's up guys? I know this is the first time I've been on camera in a little bit. So what's up, happy new years. Oh man, the NFL season went by so fast this year. So many intriguing and great matchups. Like I said in my last NFL video, prayers up for DeMar Hamlin. I saw that he's been released from the Buffalo hospital. So that's a great thing. Um, I know that team is gonna play great for him. I'm um, gonna have a lot of you know different scenarios and playoff matchups in this video that we're gonna talk about. Obviously, we gotta talk about the AFC Championship game. It's gonna potentially be a neutral side if that's the Bills and the Chiefs, but we'll talk about that later. Um, we gotta talk about the wild card round that takes place this weekend. Um, a lot of good intriguing matchups and we're going to keep going on to the you know the AFC championship the divisional rounds and then going into the Super Bowl of course we're going to predict all of that so with that being said let's get into these predictions all right so of course we have to talk about the NFC and the AFC um the first playoff game is going to be between the Seattle Seahawks and the San Francisco 49ers on Saturday so we're going to talk about that first um those are two divisional rivals from the NFC West um, and obviously the Seahawks, they really weren't expecting to be there all the way um, before this season, you know, trading Russell Wilson. Um, we saw how that turned out with the Broncos. Ugh, that was a mess, but we're not here to talk about them. But um, the Seahawks, I mean, they're playing with house money. Geno Smith has been having a great year, um, in my opinion, the comeback player of the year in the NFL. Um, and, you know, they're playing against the you know, San Francisco 49ers. Obviously, you know, Trey Lance got hurt earlier in the year and then Jimmy Garoppolo got hurt. But Brock Purdy has been playing good football for them, being a great game manager for them. Um, they have an elite defense, in my opinion, potentially the best defense in the league. You got Bosa on there. So, I mean, uh, I think that, honestly, the San Francisco 49ers are going to win this game. I don't think that's a crazy prediction. I think that this game could honestly be closer than what a lot of people think. I mean, the Seahawks are 9-8, and eight, and the 49ers win 13-4, and four, I believe. Um, but that really doesn't matter. I mean, it's the playoffs. Everyone technically is 0-0, zero and zero, so anything can happen. And the playoffs is about the most hot team. Um, and I don't think the Seahawks will win this game. I think the 49ers will. But, you know, there's a lot of things that could happen. Um, if the 49ers defense, which I think will happen, will get out Geno Smith um, and get out their offense as a whole, I mean, it's really not going to be a close game. But crazy things happen in the playoffs. I mean, like I said, the most hot team wins. But if I want to predict a score, I'd probably say 49ers, what, 29, 28, something like that. Um, Seahawks, 14, something like that. Not a blowout, but, you know, not too close of a game. Just, you know, like a solid game. Could be close in the first half, and then the 49ers, you know, just take away the rest of the game. But something like that, and have the 49ers going into the second round. All right, so I'm staying consistent with what I said before. Going into the second NFC matchup, which will take place Sunday afternoon between the Minnesota Vikings and New York Giants. These two teams actually played against each other on New Year's Eve. I think that's when it was. And the Vikings narrowly won that game by a field goal. Really, in my opinion, these two teams, you could say that they're evenly matched. I know the records are different, and the Vikings won a hand, well, really a ton, most of their games off of one score possession games. They were outscored a lot in those games, but they still, you know, had a 13-4 and record. Um, but I think that the Vikings will win this game. I think that the Giants, they really put a matchup between them because, you know, they have a nice defensive line. They have Kayvon Thibodeau, um, potentially, you know, defensive rookie of the year candidate. But I think that the Vikings, they'll win this game. They should win this game at least. Now, you can see this game being an upset alert, and of course, for the Vikings. The Giants, I mean, they've been playing good football. Brian Dayball, you could argue that he's the coach of the year this year. Um, and Saquon Barkley, you know, getting back into his form after being injured and stuff like that. And Daniel Jones, I mean, he's not the best quarterback, but he's competent for them. And he's a good runner as well at the quarterback position for New York. Um, but I do have the Vikings winning this game. I think that it's going to be a one-score matchup. It could come down to a field goal as well in the final possession again. But I think that the Vikings will win this game. Um, if they if they lose, I mean, it'll come to prove everyone's, you know, predictions of them in the regular season that they're frauds. And I could see that, but I'm, I'm going to give credit to where credit is due. I think the Giants are good, but I don't think that they're ready. And if they win this game, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. But I have the Vikings win this game. I'll say something like 31 to 24 something like that maybe by a touchdown or a field goal i mean you never know but i had the vikings going into the second round now we have to talk about the last wild card game which will take place monday night between the tampa bay buccaneers and the dallas cowboys this game will be in tampa bay we know tampa bay had a down year um and that division in the nfc south was so bad um, but someone had to win a division obviously and they're hosting a playoff game against the dallas cowboys who are a wild card team but they also went 12 and 5 so i mean they they mean they had the same record as they, they had last year but um, I think that the Cowboys, even though they have a better record than Tampa Bay and they had a better season overall than Tampa Bay, the last few weeks they have been playing, you know, not they haven't been playing good football. And I think that'll catch up to them. 
Um, if you can't tell what I'm saying, I think that Tampa Bay will win this game against the Dallas Cowboys. You have Tom Brady, obviously the GOAT. You don't want to play against him in the playoffs. I mean, you know how things go. And even if you're up in the fourth quarter, you still can't trust it because Tom Brady is a king of comebacks in the NFL. You already know what that is. And Patrick Holmes, he's getting there too. But Tom Brady, I mean, he's the GOAT. Seven rings for a reason. And the Cowboys, they're not relying right now. I could talk about Dak Prescott, how he's been turning over the ball consecutively throughout the weeks, throwing interceptions after inter interceptions, promising that things will get fixed. But you can't trust that, obviously. He used to be one of, you know, uh, he was a, a, a solid quarterback, been a top 10 quarterback for the past few years, but obviously dealing with injuries and things like that. And then just saying that, oh, I'm going to fix the turnovers and stuff, and stuff like that, but continues to throw interceptions week in and week out. I mean, obviously, it's not easy to play in the NFL, and not all turnovers are created the same. But at the same time, I mean, if you keep throwing the interceptions, something is wrong. I mean, obviously, when a receiver is, you know, dropped the ball and it's in the air, and then, I mean, there's so much you can do about that. But throwing three six, pick sixes since week 15, I mean, like, come on, dude. You have to stop putting the ball in harm's way, so... With that being said, I have Tampa Bay winning this game. Um, Tampa Bay's defense is also elite, regardless of how they've been able to struggle offensively scoring the ball. Their defense continues to be consistent and be one of the best in the NFL. So I think that they'll get at Dak Prescott for sure, that the running game um, from Dallas will be neutralized. And I think that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will win this game. Um, it'll be hard for me to predict the um, score because I don't think it's going to be high scoring. Like I said, the defense is going to be there. Dallas defense, Loki has regressed a little bit throughout the season, but I think that they'll still be able to you know, make some plays, potentially, Micah Parsons. Uh, he got snuffed from the all-pro team, so he'll be a little motivated. But I have Tampa Bay winning this game. I don't think I can give you an exact score. Uh, maybe something like 24 or 21, something like that. I don't even know. Maybe not even 24 because the I think Tampa Bay averaged like 17 points per game this year. It's It's been tough there. I'd say maybe like 17, 14, maybe. I don't know. But I don't think Dallas will win this game. And, and you could say that the Cowboys are cursed, honestly, because... So a lot to be going on with them. Now let's talk about the AFC wildcard games. The first game on Saturday in the AFC is gonna take place between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Los Angeles Chargers. Man, I think that these two teams are really even. Like they're both even, have solid young quarterbacks, potential superstar quarterbacks, Trevor Lawrence against Justin Herbert. Um, really similar play styles in my opinion. They can both, uh, they're both great passers out of the pocket. Um, they're very accurate. Um, they have solid weapons on both ends. Um, for me, I don't. I think that it could go either way. Like I said, they're both even, but I think that the Charger will, Chargers will win this game. Um, they were almost here last year in the playoffs. They obviously lost that game at the end of 2021 to the Raiders, and the Raiders didn't do anything. But anyways, the Chargers, um, they've been ready to make the playoffs. There's been questions about Brandon Staley, their head coach, being on a hot seat potentially. I mean, they didn't make the playoffs this year, so even if they lose, I mean, I guess you could try to look into Sean Payton potentially getting there. He has an interview with the Broncos, but... I don't know. I mean, I feel like that the Chargers, they have a bright future. I mean, they are in the same division as the Chiefs, so that's going to be tough. You know, always having to deal with Patrick Mahomes, going to have to get over that hump. But I think that the Chargers will win this game. Um, I, no one really expects them to go to the Super Bowl. That would be crazy if they do. Uh, but I think the Chargers will, uh, will win this game. Jacksonville, they weren't expecting to make the playoffs. Uh, obviously, they beat the Tennessee Titans in Week 18 to make the playoffs. And that was very impressive. They have a solid future going forward. Doug Peterson taking in this franchise after Urban Meyer was there last season, which was a total hot mess. Um, really changed things. And maybe um, them winning what, their fast few games, their last few games, I'm sorry for my gibberish, um, to get into the playoffs. I mean, it was really impressive. So I think that Jacksonville, they have a bright future as well in that AFC South because, I mean, they're going to be going against teams like the Texans and the Colts and the Titans. I mean, they could win a division again next year. But I think the Chargers will narrowly win this game. Like I said, they're both even teams. Let's talk about this second AFC matchup in the wild card round between two divisional opponents, the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. Um, I don't really have too much to say about the Miami Dolphins right now. Obviously, Tua Tagovailoa, he's dealt with so many concussions this year that have been potentially even undocumented. I mean, a lot of head trauma for him, and it's really concerning, you know, past his football career. Um, he, was, he was playing great in the first half of the year, and they got that concussion, the second concussion, and he was playing for his, you know, his next contract extension. It's very unfortunate. Just hoping that Tua is okay, but it looks like Skylar Thompson is going to start. I believe that he's a rookie. So really don't expect too much for him. And they're playing against the Bills. Like I said earlier, they're playing for DeMar Hamlin right now. I think that this team, they definitely have a chip on their shoulder. They want to prove that they're the best team, not only in the AFC, but also in the league. They're ready to go to the Super Bowl. And I think that this game could potentially be one of those blowouts. Like it's going to be in Orchard Park in Buffalo. Um, the fans are going to go crazy up there. They have some great fans in Buffalo. I don't think that this game is really going to be too close. Maybe they'll score a touchdown or two. In Miami, I mean, they have a, they have, they have weapons, but I mean, two is not passing in the ball. It's gonna be Skylar Thompson. Obviously, they have um, Tyreek Hill, they have um, Jalen Waddle, but 
they can't throw themselves the ball. So I think that Buffalo will, will win this game handily. Something maybe like 34 to 10, something like that. I could see a blowout happening now. I could be crazy. It could be a closer game, but I don't I don't see Buffalo losing this game. I do not see a scenario where Miami wins this. So I have Buffalo going to the second round easily. The last AFC wildcard matchup will take place between two divisional opponents, being the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, man, this this game could be a blowout too, really, because it looks like Lamar Jackson is not going to play, and there's a lot of different factors behind that. He has a PCL sprain, which he tweeted out saying that it's grade two, potentially even on the line of being a grade three sprain, so people think that he's kind of not necessarily faking it, but over-exaggerating it because, you know, he's trying to play for his, well, trying to get his contract, obviously, that he was trying to get before the year, but I think that he's legitimately injured, and there's been a lot of people saying that Baltimore might not extend him and may look for another quarterback. They will be on so many type of drugs if they did that broke like i feel like they had their whole they put their whole system around him i know he's not the best passer and obviously the athleticism and things like that will catch up to him as he gets older but i mean he's the he won the mvp in his second season i believe that there's still bright spots in his game there's still a great future around him he has good talent around him they could have more receivers of course they have mark andrews who's one of the best tight ends in the league in my opinion but uh i don't think that they should give up on him i think he deserves his money and hey that's how it is. I saw that Tyler Huntley, he actually practiced today, so it looks like that he might start for them. Um, he's not the same as Lamar Jackson. He's good, but he's not Lamar Jackson. But, um, yeah, talking about Cincinnati, though, I think they're, they're trying to get back to the Super Bowl. Joe Burrow said that he thinks that their whole Super Bowl window is when he's playing. That's basically what he said last week. Um, he's that dude for real. Joe Burrow, I mean, you could argue that him and Patrick Mahomes are neck and neck for being the best AFC quarterbacks. I think Mahomes is clearly better, but Joe Burrow's up there. Um, and of course with Josh Allen as well and you know of course they have Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins they have a lot of great talent on their offensive end so I think that they'll win this game um, I think that it could be close theoretically but I think it'll probably be like a two score game something like that um, I think that they could win like 35 18 something like that 35 17 something like that could be a blowout could be close some of these games trend towards that being you know potentially a close game or just a blowout I think that this game will be teeter between both but for sure Cincinnati going to the second round in my opinion. So before I get into the second round matchups going into the division round, I forgot to mention, well I didn't even forget, I mean we were going to get into these top seeds eventually, but obviously in the AFC the top seed is the Kansas City Chiefs and in the NFC is the Philadelphia Eagles. They're waiting for their lowest seeds for their second round matchup to um, win potentially and well that's where we're going to go right now. So going back to the NFC, um, the lowest seed will be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who I have beaten the Cowboys in the first round. They'll be playing against the Philadelphia Eagles in Philadelphia and this game actually took place um, in the 2021 playoffs um, now obviously the Eagles made that as a wild card team Tampa Bay was one of the divisional leaders and they were way better than they were this year um, but the, definitely the sides are flipped I think Philadelphia will win this game trust me um, you know Tampa Bay could make some noise obviously because like I said they have the GOAT they have a they still have a great defense but I think that Philadelphia will win this game people um, or talking about you know how the Eagles have looked suspect in the past few weeks I mean obviously Gardner Minshew was in there for Jalen Hurts really I don't really count that loss against the Cowboys too much because I mean they didn't have Jalen Hurts I mean it was a test for them to see where they were without him I guess but at the end of the day it wasn't their full squad um, they lost against the Saints and that was suspect I'm not gonna lie that one was really suspect but I mean I think that they're gonna be good Jalen Hurts it's something to talk about you know his little injury um, and I think that he's gonna you know, put everything on the line. I mean, he's been arguably the MVP this year. I think that Mahomes is gonna win it, but I think that the Eagles are gonna win this game. Um, their defense is elite, <laughs> like the 49ers, and Tampa Bay is elite too, but I think that the Eagles and the 49ers have the top two defenses in the league. And I think that the Philadelphia Eagles are gonna separate themselves this game and go into the NFC Championship game easily. And it's gonna leave a lot of questions for Tampa Bay, potentially the status of Todd Bowles, because there's a lot of dysfunction this year with them. And Tom Brady, I mean, he's gonna retire. I don't think he'll retire now because I mean, a lot of that stuff off the field um, happened. I don't wanna talk about the divorce, but you know, that happened. I think that he doesn't wanna retire yet. I think he wants to retire on top. But I think that Philadelphia is going to go to the NFC Championship game. Now, the next game in the NFC Division round will take place between the San Francisco 49ers and the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are the third seed, and San Francisco is the second seed, so this game will be in San Francisco. And I think that the 49ers won this game, period. I mean, <laughs> Kirk Cousins against that defense, I think that they're really going to get at Kirk Cousins. Um, and like I said about the 49ers, Brock Purdy, he just has to handle this stuff. Christian McCaffrey, you have him in the backfield. You have Brandon Ayuk, at wide receiver. You have, of course, George Kittle. You also have Debo Samuel, of course. 
Um, I feel like if Brock Purdy, you know, he doesn't do too much, which he won't. Kyle Shanahan, he's one of the best coaches in the league, obviously. He'll have a great game plan going into this matchup and potentially to later in the playoffs. So as long as they don't do too much offensively, just run the ball, make good passing plays when they need to, I think that they'll win this game handily. And I think the Vikings, I mean, they have a solid team, but like my boy Blessing says, they're frauds. I don't know. <laughs> I had the 49ers winning this game something like potentially 38 to like 21, something like that. I think that it could be a blowout. It could be moderately close, but I don't think it's going to be neck and neck because I think the 49ers are better than them, even with Brock Purdy at quarterback. Let's get into the AFC Divisional Rounds. We'll talk about the top seed, Kansas City Chiefs. They'll be playing against the Los Angeles Chargers, according to my predictions. And like I said, this is a divisional game, kind of, you know, they're both in the same division. But um, disregarding that, I think that the Chiefs will win this game. Now, the Chiefs did win both games in the regular season against the Chargers, which isn't surprising. But the surprising thing is that they only won both games by three points. So this game could be close as well. It just depends on how, you know, how hot the Chargers are and how prepared the Chiefs are because obviously they're gonna have a first round bye, um, prepping, getting everyone healthy, getting ready for, you know, the division around. So things could go crazy there. Sometimes, you know, the Chiefs tend to coast a little bit, but I don't think that they'll coast. I think that they'll come out this game and, you know, play well. I think the Chargers will put up a fight. I don't think it's gonna be a blowout. Yeah, it could be a high scoring game potentially, you know, something like potentially like 34, to like 28, 24, something like that, 34, 24. I can see 34, 24, probably Chiefs winning the game. Um, it wouldn't be surprising, like I said, um, the Chargers lose this game. I mean, the Chiefs are head and heels better than them. So, but I think the Chargers making the second round, I think that Brandon Staley, if he wins a playoff game, his job will be secure. I think that if they lose to the um, Jacksonville Jaguars in the first round, that you could make a case for him getting fired, but I think that the Chargers are gonna make the second round. They'll lose to the Chiefs, and the Chiefs will move on to the AFC Championship game, but that's a respectable game. I think 34-24, Chiefs going to the AFC Championship game. The other AFC divisional game will take place between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Buffalo Bills. Now, obviously, we had a regular season matchup in week 17 of that, but DeMar Hamlin, unfortunately, uh, wins a cardiac arrest, and, and thank God that he's doing great now, but this will be a matchup between them. I can see if this game happens that there'll be a lot of, you know, um, a lot of cheers for him and a lot of, you know, celebratory moments. But talking about the game wise, they're going to go at each other's necks. This will be a really great game. Josh Allen against Joe Burrow must watch TV in a second round. Oh my gosh. The winner of that will play against the Chiefs, according to my predictions. Oh my gosh. Great quarterback play. Like I said in the AFC, the AFC is stacked. So many great quarterbacks. Even in this playoff matchup right now, in these playoffs right now, Patrick Mahomes. Um, of course, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow. You have upcoming quarterbacks like Justin Herbert and Trevor Lawrence. Uh, there's a lot of potential. And even like I said, if the Ravens, of course, which they should keep Lamar Jackson, you have Lamar Jackson as well. A lot of quarterback talent in the AFC. But talking about this matchup specifically, the Bengals against the Bills, man, going to be a cutthroat game. I can see it being high scoring. Um, these defenses are pretty solid as well. Um, I think Micah Hyde is coming back for Buffalo, so that'll be really good um, for their secondary. Uh, but yeah, I think that Buffalo won this game. Buffalo was ready. They're motivated. They have a lot to play for, like I said, DeMar Hamlin. And they want the Chiefs, man. After losing to them in the past two playoffs, um, obviously last year and the year before, they're ready for it. Like, in the way that they lost last year, too, with Patrick Mahomes making a couple passes at the end of the um, game, getting into overtime, winning the game, they, they want to play against the Chiefs. They want to win that game. They want to play them. So I think the Bengals, I mean, they obviously made the Super Bowl last year. They could win this game as well. But I think that the, the Bills will win this game, and it'll be a close game. I think it'll be a one-score game, potentially a field goal or a game-winning touchdown will decide this game. But I think that the Bills are going to win this. And, yeah, I, I think that they're going to play up for this matchup. Of course, both teams will. But the Bills want the Chiefs. No questions asked. All right, so now that takes us to the final four. In the NFC, we have the Philadelphia Eagles against the San Francisco 49ers. And in the AFC, we have the Buffalo Bills against the Kansas City Chiefs. So I'm gonna continue this trend talking about the NFC first and then the AFC second. Um, the Eagles against the 49ers. I think this is the game that we've been waiting for for a majority of the season. Seeing these two elite defenses play against each other. Jalen Hurts, who you could argue being the most improved player if they had that award in the NFL, potentially being the MVP as well, playing this game against that defense, ooh, it's gonna be really good. Um, Brock Purdy, he's gonna have a lot coming at him as a rookie quarterback. Um, but like I said before, Kyle Shanahan, he'll have a good game plan in place for this potential matchup. 
uh, man, it's going to be really good. Um, and it's a tough, it's tough for me to decide this game because, like I said, Jalen Hurts has been playing great this year. Uh, the 49ers, they have been playing great as well. Their defense has been carrying them, and they've been playing competent football offensively. And Christian McCaffrey has been playing great. Debo Samuel has been playing great. Brandon Ayuk being a great receiver in this league. Um, so this might not be popular for me to say. Um, Eagles fans might hate me. Um, and man, it, it, it's crazy because obviously the, the better quarterback is in Philadelphia. But I can see this game, it's a really a toss up. I mean, they can, the Eagles could win this game, the 49ers can win this game, but I think that the San Francisco 49ers will win this game and it'll be close. I don't think it'll be too high scoring. I could see something like 24 to 21 or 24 20, something like that, like a margin of error score. But I think that the defense, like defenses are evenly matched. Um, those are the top two defenses in the league. Um, and yeah, I think that the 49ers will win this game and move on to the Super Bowl. Um, obviously they made the Super Bowl in 2020 where they lost against the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, but I think they're trying to get back and it'll be crazy for them to, you know, have a storybook ending, making the Super Bowl, potentially winning after having Jimmy G get hurt, Trey Lance get hurt, um, and Brock Purdy coming in there as the last pick of the 2022 NFL Draft, Mr. Irrelevant, quote unquote, making the Super Bowl. But I think that's what's, that's what's going to happen. And um, the Eagles, I mean, they've obviously had a great year, um, but I think they're going to fall a little bit short and their 49ers will make the Super Bowl. All right, now, the game that we have been waiting for. The AFC Championship game, the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, this will be different. It's going to be on, on a neutral site. Um, I said earlier, you know, Adam Schefter of ESPN reported that a neutral site game will be hosted between the Bills and the Chiefs, and that's the AFC Championship. And like I said in this predictions, I have that being an AFC Championship game. So it'll be in Atlanta, neutral site. Of course, both um, fan bases will show up to Atlanta to support their teams. But I think that Buffalo is going to win this game. They are tired of losing to the Chiefs. They almost had them last year, but Patrick Mahomes showed his clutchness um, winning the game, um, sending the game into overtime and winning the game, like I said earlier. But I think it's it's Buffalo's time. It's now or never. Obviously, their defense is a little compromised because, you know, Von Miller got hurt earlier in the year. But they're ready, man. I think Josh Allen is going to do everything that he can to will this franchise to get into the Super Bowl for the first time since the 1990s. And even then, they lost the Super Bowl against the Dallas Cowboys multiple times. But I think that they're ready to get back into the big game. Um, Kansas City, I mean, obviously, they're consistently throughout the what, past four to five years, the best team in the AFC and the NFL pretty much. Patrick Mahomes is still the best quarterback in the league. No questions asked. I don't even think that's the debate, but I think that Buffalo, it's their time, man. I mean, if not now, then when? Um, you can only contend for so long. I mean, obviously Josh Allen is still young, 26 years old, I believe, so he still has a bright future ahead of him, but it's now him, Stephon Diggs. I mean, they're ready to get into the big game. I think that the Bills will win this game. It'll be close, like I said, about the, um, but the game earlier between the Bengals and the Bills, I think this will be a one-score game match that could come down to a field goal or short game game drive touchdown. And I think that the Bills are going to make the Super Bowl. So my Super Bowl matchup is going to be the Buffalo Bills against the San Francisco 49ers. And let's talk about that prediction. Super Bowl 57. Let's talk about it, man. So the 49ers against the Buffalo Bills going to be in Arizona at State Farm Stadium. Going to be a great matchup. Like I said about these other matchups in the AFC and NFC Championship games, going to be neck and neck. I have no difference to see why this game will be neck and neck as well. Um, a great defense in San Francisco. Brock Purdy, a rookie quarterback coming in. Um, I think that he's going to be, you know, well seasoned at that point. And like I said, Kyle Shanahan, he'll have a good game plan for the Super Bowl. They've been there before, obviously in 2020. Last year, they were in the NFC Championship game uh, where they lost to the Rams, but they still been playing deep postseason football. Um, and then the Bills side of things, I mean, they've been to the AFC Championship game. They're just, that's one game ahead. So it'll be the Super Bowl for them. I think that the Buffalo Bills are going to win. That's going to be my prediction. That's the team that I have winning the Super Bowl. That's my title. This is the team that I have winning the Super Bowl. It'll be the Buffalo Bills. Not just because of the reasons, of course, they're playing for DeMar Hamlin, but I think that this team, um, they were going into the season being the favorites to win the Super Bowl. And they've, you know, they've had, you know, turns of adversity throughout the year. Josh Allen had a little slump when he was throwing interceptions and stuff, but persevered through that. Proving that he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Definitely top five. You can argue top three as well. Um, but I think the Buffalo Bills will win this game. It'll be close. It'll be close. It'll be a trenches game. A game one in the trenches. But I think that Josh Allen, he's going to win Super Bowl MVP and put this franchise on his back. Winning their first Super Bowl. And could be his first Super Bowl of many. Um, but yeah, I mean, San Francisco, it'll be tough for them. Because that'll be their second <laughs> Super Bowl that they've came to and lost. But really no one expected them to get to this point with Brock Purdy. 
um, at quarterback. And of course, they have elite assets on the offensive end and defensively. But um, to get there with Brock Purdy, I think that would be an accomplishment of itself. And it will raise questions seeing if who's the potential future quarterback of the future. Trey Lance will come back next year, but will it be Brock Purdy or will it be Trey Lance? You don't know. But I think Buffalo will win this game. It's going to be a high intensity game, a great Super Bowl. Um, I don't think that it'll be um, low scoring. I think that it'll be a solid score. I don't think it'll be too crazy of a score, but I don't think it'll be boring. That's what I'm trying to say. We don't want that. Obviously, you're gonna have the Super Bowl commercials and all that to you know try to entertain things, but we want the game to be entertaining, and that's what it's about. And I think that it will be. And that Buffalo will win this game, and it'll be a storybook ending for Buffalo, a great ending, a ring for Demar Hamlin. That'll be great, but also for Josh Allen, will in this franchise after the past few years being drafted in 2018, being called trash by people like Jalen Ramsey at the beginning of this year to advancing to getting his asset and his best friend and his running mate and Stephon Diggs. I think that the Bills will win this Super Bowl and will win Super Bowl 57 in Arizona. Y'all, let me know in the comments down below who y'all have winning Super Bowl 57 or at least a matchup that y'all see happening um, obviously I could be dead wrong about this I could be wrong the first day of the playoffs on wild card round and it messes up my whole prediction but I think that is accurate I mean I'm not just saying stuff out of biasness if I told y'all my favorite football team y'all be shocked I'm not gonna tell y'all but <laughs> yeah so y'all let me know in the comments down below let's talk about it this playoff should be very entertaining like I said before a potential neutral site championship game in the AFC I mean we've never seen that before so that's gonna be crazy if that happens which i think it will obviously according to my predictions but yeah y'all let me know what y'all think is going to happen in these playoffs i appreciate y'all watching always make sure to like comment subscribe and turn on post notifications follow me on instagram and twitter at swaggy russ and also on tiktok at swaggy russ 02 i have another tiktok cooking video coming soon hey stay tuned for that but yeah i appreciate the support always we're at 1k right now we're gonna keep going man hey gonna keep climbing 2023 is gonna be a big year for this channel um i appreciate y'all support always man it really means a lot um yeah, for real. So y'all be blessed. Hope this is a great year for y'all and love y'all. Take it easy.